People who've lost loved ones in accidents say the tragedy is traumatic enough, but imagine seeing photos of friends and family members' bodies all over social media. Some say that's too much to handle. Now, one person is fighting to stop it. CBS 2's Dana Kozloff explains in this original report. It's horrible. Kaylee Sullivan says she closes her eyes but can't shut out the images of her friends Miranda Valles and Matt Summers dead on the Eisenhower Expressway. Both were killed, Summers' body ripped apart in a motorcycle accident 14 months ago. Sullivan wasn't there. She saw the images on Facebook. I still remember her face. I remember everything about her, but that image will haunt me forever. Miranda's mother says social media is how many family members learned of her death. My 19-year-old um, Sierra, um, someone sent her a picture of her sister and asked if it was her. Valles and Sullivan say sadly this isn't unique. Gruesome photos of Stephen Thomas and 75-year-old Edward Branseth, who was violently killed in this Maywood accident last week, still mar the internet. And there are many others. Just on a human level, it's wrong. Both yeah. women say that has to change. Yeah. Their dignity exactly. and their Respect privacy. Deceased. It's why yeah. Sullivan started this change.org petition last week, fighting to make it illegal for anyone to take video or photos within 500 feet of an accident scene involving serious injury or death. So far, she has more than 500 signatures. It's not just for the people that it's already happened to. It's to prevent it from anyone else going through this, because no family should. None. Sullivan and Valles believe social media and websites need to be more vigilant about what they allow. We reached out to a few. Twitter recommends users mark contact as sensitive. Facebook will review images based on complaints. And Live Leak limits some graphic video. Rob, a law like this was proposed back in 2011, but it failed to pass. You'd like to think that these are citizen journalists reporting on what's going on, say, on the expressway. But that's not always the case. I mean, this is just pretty mean spirited too. Yeah, we're it? we're talking about the actual images yeah. of these of these loved ones, and people say it's just it's just not right. Yeah, that's understandable. Mm -hmm. All right, Dana, thank you.